Robert De Niro, one of the best actors living today. Raging Bull, Heat, Goodfellas, The Godfather. So intimidating then. Little words to the guy from LMFAO dangling his balls in his face. And that is essentially the premise of Las Vegas. To take these well-respected actors and show them in a way that we've never seen them before in a raunchy comedy. Oh, raunchy by PG-13 standards. And I'll admit, I'm a sucker for this genre. Like, I really enjoy movies about those crazy nights and crazy weekends. I don't think they're all good, but I at least enjoy them. And it's supposed to be funny because these guys are doing it, and it's... But it's a movie that doesn't really go as far as you would like it to. You have Michael Douglas, Robert De Niro, Morgan Freeman, and Kelvin and Kevin Klein, who have been friends for almost 60 years. They're all the same age, but they're all going through different things in their life at that point. Robert De Niro is getting over losing his Robert De Niro is getting over losing his wife. Morgan Freeman's son pretty much babies him, and Kevin Klein is just bored in Florida. And I often forget about that joke because I don't live in the retirement part of Florida. But when it comes up in this movie, I, I, I think it's pretty funny. So Michael Douglas, who's trying to stay active by marrying a woman half his age, calls them up and invites them to uh, Las Vegas for a bachelor party. Problem is, there's still some bad blood between him and Robert De Niro's character, but they still get the band back together. And it's a good concept. The actors bring their A-game, especially Kevin Klein, who steals the whole movie with just some of the funniest lines. But my problem with this movie is that it suffers from incredibly flat direction. Like everything is done technically right and and everyone in the shots are lively and full of energy, but the shots themselves are just like from someone that got out of film school 101. And there's like this great blackjack scene that ends with a pleasant surprise for one of the characters, but the way it's presented just makes me want to like a blackjack scene from The Hangover. And it's just dull. Like it takes like an interesting thing and just kind of makes it a bit dull. There's also a dramatic element that slows the movie down to a screeching halt that deals with the issues between Douglas and De Niro's character and it, characters, and it's not bad, it just seems kind of out of place for a comedy. But at the end of the day, this isn't a raunchy comedy for me or even people my age. This is a raunchy comedy for people who grew up uh, always watching these guys and want them to see them have their Vegas fun. I think Las Vegas satisfies in that regard. So I go to 3 out of 5. And that's my review of Las Vegas.